In today's Who Not Do series, I spoke with one of the most decorated sideline reporters, Miss Lisa Salters, and we talked about everything from the little man in her life, her son Sam, to her not even having an interest in sports journalism early in her career, and also she gives a piece of advice for those who are starting off in the business or aspiring reporters. Stay tuned. Lisa, like every reporter watching this and many fans, we're such, a, uh, we're such a fan of what you do, but in this series, we're not more so talking about your do, but more so your who. So I want to start off by talking about the little man in your life. Um, did some research, I learned that you went through adoption. So if you could just kind of walk me through that experience. Sure. Um, I adopted my son, Sam, from birth uh, seven years ago. Um, he was born on uh, March 21st, 2013. And... Um, I, uh, you know, I kind of focused on my career early in my adulthood, and so by the time I reached my 40s, I kind of looked up and had the career that I wanted, um, but I didn't have the child that I wanted. So um, I started the process, and uh, it took uh, a little less than a year, about 10 months, um, from the time I first started with all the paperwork till the time that he was born, and I got to uh, bring him home. So it's been... Um, I can't believe he just started his second, or he just started second grade yesterday, virtually, of course. And, you know, uh, my friends were laughing at me because I am, um, you know, I'm like, I can't believe he's in second grade already. This is crazy. Uh, but it is crazy to think that, you know, seven years have, have flown by and he's, uh, he's turning into quite the little guy. A lot of the times we hear about girl dads, especially with the um, unfortunate passing of Phoebe, but can you give me a definition of exactly what is a boy mom to you? Uh, a boy mom, yes, that is me. Um, boy mom is that uh, you hold it down and you, you know, have you ever met a, a guy, a man who didn't love his mom? Never. <laughs> like women sometimes have odd relationships with their mom, but you know, there could be some strain there, whatever, but boys always love their moms. And so, um, you know, Sam loved me. I adore him. Um, being a boy mom is uh, going to all the sporting events, teaching him how to throw a football, uh, teaching him how to play the piano, teaching him to be respectful to everyone, uh, especially to women. Um, to me, that's what being a boy mom is, teaching him how to be uh, the kind of man that women <laughs> want men to be. That is so true, man. <laughs> Love their mamas. <laughs> um, now, I want to kind of touch on your career a little bit. I watched a video where you talked about that you went into journalism. You've always loved journalism, but you loved hard news. Sports was not on your radar until ESPN was on yours, actually. And so how was it to, um, to just get into that role? And also, what's kept the fire lit under you for over 20 years now? Um, so, yeah, I, I did hard news for the first 12 years of my career. And... Um, I never gave sports a thought. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't something that I thought was, you know, even an option coming out of journalism school because, you know, you're taught about politics and economics and, you know, social, you know, social events, current events, things like that, crime, your crime reporters. And so, yes, while I know, knew that there was a sports page in the newspaper, like I, it just didn't cross my mind that journalists actually covered sports. So uh, I kind of looked down my nose at, at sports journalism as not being real journalism and not being real work. And, um, you know, I, I was uh, at the network. I was at ABC News, and I was based in Los Angeles. And one of my bosses, his father, was an executive at ESPN. And so he kept asking me, like, my dad wants you to come to ESPN. My dad wants you to come to ESPN. Would you, like, interview with them? And I was like, no, why would I do that? Like. I'm at ABC Network News, living in Los Angeles, you know, World News Tonight with Peter Jennings, Good Morning America, like 20, like why in the world would I leave to go to do sports? Um, and finally, um, they asked enough times and I finally said, okay, okay, I'll go try, I'll go do, I'll go do an interview. And, you know, they, it really wasn't an interview. They were trying to sell me on the job, like, you know, come here. Um, I, I went with the understanding that since ABC and ESPN are both owned by Disney, that if I didn't like it, I'd just come back to, to ABC. And I mean, I wish, I wish I'd left like the two years sooner when they first started asking. 
um, because it's just um, being in sports is just one it's fun for me um, you know I, I love sports it's opened up so many doors um, and it's just really been um, it's been a blessing I don't know I would have worked as hard doing hard news um, but I don't know if I would have gotten the opportunities that sports have allowed me oh. You say that you went from network to now sports network, but a lot of the times we don't hear that. We hear actually the opposite. Have you ever thought about that as well? It, we hear what? What's we actually hear the opposite. A lot of people would leave from yes. the sports business. Right. Well, yeah, like as I was leaving uh, ABC to go to ESPN, Robin Roberts was leaving ESPN to go to Good Morning America. Um, like right around the same time. So we really didn't cross paths at all at ESPN, um, but knew of each other. Um, so yeah, like a lot of people, they, you know, they see, you know, the network as being, and, and hard news as being the pinnacle of journalism. It just kind of so happened that it worked the opposite for me. And I, and after I left, a lot of my friends at the network were like, oh, how do you, can you get us can you put in a good word for us over there? And like, and a couple of people I know, I, I know I, I was able to get inter interviewed and a couple um, have uh, been hired by ESPN since I left. Oh, that's awesome. That was um, a long time, long time ago. <laughs> um, so I want to talk about um, some of those challenges that you may or may not have faced in your career, you know, especially um, it's been going on for years, but we've seen a lot recently um, considering like the Washington football team, and being harassed and just discriminated against, have you faced any challenges in your career? Uh, I have not. Um, I have not been harassed. Um, and I, I joke with Susie Culber, who has also said that she's not, never been harassed. Uh, well, that, I take that back, though. There was that one moment with Joe, Na Joe Namath on a football field. Um, but uh, no, like I, like I have not had anyone be inappropriate. Um, to the point where I thought, you know, I am being harassed right now. Like this person's gone too far. It just hasn't happened for me yet. I do know a lot of women uh, who it has happened with. Um, and uh, I just consider myself lucky. I also try not to put myself in situations where that could happen. Um, but as far as being uh, like hashtag me too, and do I feel like I've been discriminated against at work for being a woman? Um, I don't, I, I mean, maybe it's true. Maybe I have been passed over for opportunities because I'm a woman, but I, you know, I think that I've, I've gotten a lot of opportunities, um, that you might not think a woman would typically get. Uh, and so, you know, I look at those opportunities, like going to, you know, them sending me into a war zone, um, 15 years ago. Um, that's something that some my mother looked at that and thought why would they why would they send you you're, you're going to kuwait they're sending a woman to kuwait and like yes like why why not like i'm one of their best reporters why wouldn't i go um so you know i just feel like i've been fortunate where that hasn't been part of my story i want to talk a little bit about the climate they were in um, with the coronavirus what you know a lot of this has caused us to slow down especially when there wasn't sports going on and um, what have you learned about yourself during this time? Uh, that I need to work. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that I need, as much as I love being a mom, I cannot be a mom 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I can't do it. Um, there needs to be a balance. So um, I, need, I need to work. So when that bubble came along and I, and I went, <laughs> I was, uh, no one was happier than me to see the NBA come back. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that football's coming back uh, and I get to start a new, a new season, my ninth season with Monday Night Football on Monday. Um, but that's what I learned about myself is that as, as much as we all always complain about having to work, go to work, I have to work. I cannot be off for four months at a time not doing anything. I, I definitely agree. I'm um, not ready to be retired yet. Yet. So you, you can see yourself doing this for a long time to eventually, come. <laughs> eventually, that's going to happen, but not, not yet. 
us um us young reporters especially in the galvanized group we're you know we're just looking for any piece of advice that we can get to just move along in our career what is some piece of advice that you can give us that you've learned throughout your career uh i would say stay hungry and be a sponge um learn from everybody learn from the camera guy learn from the utility guy learn from the graphics person learn from the editor i mean you might just want to be a reporter but there are so many other jobs that go into making you look good as the reporter on tv um learn all of those other like when they offer you advice take it um that's that was the advice that was given to me uh 30 years ago when i started out be a sponge soak it all up from because you don't know everything you like to think that we do, but you know, you don't know everything. Soak up as much wisdom and knowledge and advice as you can from all of the other jobs that go into being on air, if that's what you want to do. Um, that would be my biggest piece of advice.